What's up, YouTube? Figure I'd take you on the boat ride. I've been out here all morning throwing everything uh, out here on this lake. Let me give you a view of the lake. On the other video that I did, what's going on, YouTube? On this video here, um, I really didn't have that much going on. Uh, I wanted to record sidekick out there on the lake and explore. It was the first time I got uh, the boat out there on the lake. And, um, I still had some fun. It was 58, 55 degrees out there, and I tried to do everything I could to try to pull something in. And, uh, unfortunately, uh, I couldn't do it. Uh, maybe I did something wrong, doing something wrong. I spilled my Mountain Dew right there. Uh, but anyways, uh, here's the video, and I hope y'all enjoy. Uh, like I said, uh, my talking and and everything like that it wasn't all too sweet. I've been out here so, all day, just about. Uh, bear with me. I'll try to put out some more better videos than this one, but I just wanted to put this one out there because a sidekick being out there on that lake of spawn uh, with me. So, uh, God bless y'all. Uh, I do thank God for that day. Uh, every day. Uh, right now, it was uh, 1740, 540 uh, p.m. Uh, I got out there and yeah. still been out there all morning, couldn't get nothing. So I started coming back to the shore. So I kicked you know, still hanging in there. Uh, on the shore, it's not too much. I'm just going to go ahead and let you know. Uh, and stuff like that. But, anyways, I'm thinking since all these fish, I, I think they're deep in deep water. And, uh, like, when I say deep water, I mean swim bait deep. You know what I mean? And, uh, what I've been doing, I've been taking some, uh, Rooster tail, shark truce, it's clear water. Um, here, I let me show you, try to show you the lures I've been trying to use. And uh, I've been bouncing a worm off the bottom and doing everything I, th I can think of uh, out here. Uh, any clues or tips on what I could do different, I, please let me know. Um, been out here and uh, I lost one lure, uh, and it really wasn't an expensive lure, it's just a beetle spin, shark truce. Today's been like a shark truce today, and, uh, and everything. I've been throwing a whopper flopper, seeing even if they uh, touch the, uh, touch the, uh, what do you call it? Touch the top water. Like I said, I apologize for how I'm talking. I'm, uh, just can't get over that. I couldn't even get a bite. I thought I had a bite, but all it was was a stick. You see them birds up there on that tree? I think in about 30 or 40 minutes, a fit, you know, fish will start coming up to the top a little bit more. But don't get me wrong, I thank God for being out here. It's been great. Uh, I'm, what I'm doing now, I'm getting back to the shore because they close at 7. It's about 540, so I'm going to fish up here a little bit more uh, at the shoreline. And then when it's time to get closer, I'm gonna give myself enough time to get on out here and, uh, and everything like that. But, but like I said, uh, I haven't really, uh, I haven't caught any, any fish today. Uh, but it is kind of chilly out here and, uh, and everything. So, but hey, uh, you know, like I said, you know, it's, it's called fishing, not catching. Uh, I, maybe I might need a guy uh, invest in one of them. Uh, we call a uh, fish finders or whatever. But I try to use them fishing poles for fish finders. But yeah, uh, I still got the same Prowler 55, and uh, it's still holding up. Uh, you know, I put a PVC inspection on here, you know. But really, sometimes it just gets in the way. This boat travels like an alligator. It'll go back and forth when it runs like an alligator. But, uh, so I can, as you can see, I'm keep on turning the uh, trolling motor back and forth. But no, I just want to get out here. I really didn't have anything to say today because, uh, I mean, like I said, I mean, what can you say if you're not really out here catching fish? Uh, I've done everything I can 
I brought a little video of box out here. I mean, it ain't, but I brought the little one out here. Apologize for the wind and, and everything. Uh, blowing pretty hard, about five miles an hour. Matter of fact, whenever uh, I started uh, coming out here uh, in the, in this morning, I didn't even use my trolling motor that much to to get on out here and almost to the end of the lane. That's the end of the way down there. I didn't bring a jacket, but I got a shirt underneath the uh, long sleeve shirt I got on and everything like that. Uh, this is the way that I came through. Over here on the right side, this is the boat ramp. And, uh, and everything like that. But, uh, But yeah, I'm out here having fun, trying to get back to the shore, and uh, hope everything, uh, I hope I do better tomorrow morning, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get off of here, and get back to the shore, and enjoy my boat ride home, and uh, like I said, once I get up closer to the shore, I'll be fishing a little bit more, uh, I do apologize for the uh, speaking of the video, and the wind, and everything like that, and y'all have a good one. Uh, maybe when I get up here, I might be able to catch a fish. I might turn over the camera. But, uh, I just wanted to film something out here because of the fact that I just haven't even been out here. So I just wanted to turn on the camera and say something and everything like that. Y'all have a good one. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Wait, well, I said 10 degrees angles, but uh, just throwing it in a rotation to mark off the spots uh like right here although here let me see keep on moving this camera first i let it sink a little bit since uh most time if you go one one thousand it's a foot two one thousand is another foot but i'm not fishing all that deep uh i'm just like i said letting the rooster tail do its job and uh, hopefully I can snag some. I mean, well, not snag, but get something to hit. But maybe tomorrow morning I do a little bit better. It's gonna be pretty chilly in the morning. I think it's about 58 degrees out here. And uh, oh, I just gotta hit unless I hit bottom. Nah, look, I guess I did get a hit. Let me throw back down in there. Uh, who knows, I might get something right here, but today's just been uh, kind of chilly and a little long. Uh, but, yeah, I'm fishing real shallow right here. But, if the sun would come out just a little bit, but still. Off on these uh, shadow parts right here where I was fishing at. I mean, look the, at uh, What I was yeah, trying to do Alaska, was I mean, do a 180 fish, degree fish radius of a circle uh, diameter of a circle ice, ice and cover every time I cast about uh, off that sandbar out there. I 
I guess about they ain't, being dead maybe it's the weather, you know. know. Just basically what I was doing, maybe I was trying I to cover right. this one area because of it, the, the pads over there, there. The, the atmosphere, the, the well, the not the atmosphere, but it, the, the foundation of the pond over there on the bank, and the sandbars, I thought maybe they'd here. come up and want to be, but uh, overall, uh, um, still just... I guess I better wait for the next day to come in to try to get some. And I, and of course I will. And because uh, I'm not gonna give up. Just it's a slow, long day for me. And, uh, but anyways, don't forget to check out camscroppyhole.com. Um, he has some good, outstanding lures out there. You gotta check them out. Go to the page, check them out. Um, he's for sure to catch some crop. Um, I can go get some myself. Like it, you'll hit, hit it yourself. Look at that! Look at that! What? Look, it's going everywhere. But I almost spilled that mouth through again. But around this time, they do want to feed up on the banks and uh, between 5:30 at this time and. Uh, late in the evening sometimes uh catfish will come up and everything like that but uh i think i just lost this rooster tail it's nice out here though i mean i enjoy coming out even though you know, it's, it's on days like this. But, uh, I hope you can see everything okay. Uh, really, this, I guess it's going to be about a 15, 20 minute video or nothing. Just me over here throwing. But, uh, I'm learning as I go. I just got to bite. No, I'm hitting ground. I got hung up. Damn. Dog on me. Uh, most times, just tighten up the line. Tighten up the drag. And, uh, uh, I think I still got it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, folks, I, I still got my lure. But, uh. Whenever something like that happens, you just. Tighten up the line. Uh, if you can't get to the lure when you get hung up on the bottom, try to get it out. Whenever you pull, just hope for the best. You know, it's just a lure. You're going to lose them. If not, uh, but yeah, anyways, most time, I'm not you know, you might get uh, less and you might be able to keep it on there. Out here. So. Always have your lines pulled up. Have it all straightened out. I mean, pose set up out of the way. I shouldn't have brought so many poles out here anyways. Uh, I just didn't know what. I didn't want to, like, tie, retie, tie again. So I just had some poles set up where I come out here. Uh, and all that. So. Can't catch fish. Oh, let me, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm sorry. What happened was I reeled in and it got tangled up on the other pole that I didn't have uh, set up right um, this is all a part about fishing I guess uh, but uh, normally I, I catch a little bit uh, some people say I uh, catch them little fish but them little fish they, they good eating I enjoy eating them and, and, uh, and cleaning them which eating is better uh, the uh, around the house and everything all the plants and all the um, goodness gracious look at this the uh, coffee grounds and the plants and all that that's that's doing great um, the potatoes are coming in great uh, the fruit trees are doing okay I mean they're, they're good too and uh, with stuff so Hopefully, I don't even Matter of fact, speaking about them potatoes, uh, 
We ate some the other day, dug them up. Man, they sure was good. Everything organic. Uh, we had purple, okay. red, white, hey. yellow. I mean, they were delicious. I just wanted to put that in there. Uh, they done good. Oh, we, we are still growing some more. Uh, it, it was great. I got these lures up here at uh, Academy Sports. Uh, we used to have Gander Mountain around here. And uh, they just, I don't know if they went out of business or just in some places or uh, if they just went off and got a, just wanted, I don't know what happened to them, to be honest with you. So, uh, I guess this video is like what you don't do. I'm just not paying them really much of attention. Uh, there you go. So, put that back down, turn around. We got closer to the bank. <coughs> you can like actually see right through the water. There's my lure. I mean, I should have the right lures. I just, I'm not, I'm not understanding. The only thing I can do different is, like I said, uh, throw a swim bait real and go slow with it but yeah see when you when you're reeling in on a rooster tail real fast it wants to float up to the top well, here I get back to fishing and not really and most time when it's like weather like this you just kind of take it slow and be patient uh oh I just seen some action over there First action I seen all day. They came up to the top here. They might become a little bit active right now. Cut this camera off for a little bit.